ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks to get us started Ladies now. Here's the first buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Opens up with a front kick. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, cash money with that left hand counter. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Blocks that strike. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Beautiful play. All right, he 
he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, blocks the shot. That was a thudding leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just over two minutes, round one. Working out of that southpaw stance. Seconds to go. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Hit him with the overhead. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Seconds now to go in the opening round. Come on, keep busy, guys. Keep busy. Body kick now by Lee. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Nice knee to the body there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Final seconds here. Leg kick. Round two next. Oh, oh, oh. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Hands on your face. Oh, big head kick. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Single collar tie now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Right there, oh, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
powerful leg kick lands. That kick blocked by Lee. Clipped him with the right hand there. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big kick land. Nice body kick. Again, in the clinch. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Sneaky head kick. Head kick land. He blocks the punch. They continue to exchange. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Punch is blocked. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. Not there. Massive head kick. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds remain in round two. Nice leg kick. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing a kick and sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Great punch, man. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Got the single collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. 
how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Straight punch lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just over three minutes to go. Nice straight punch. Oh, huge head kick. Knee to the body. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Nice. Keep moving. And then take shots. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. the right hand, he misses. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Good jab. Back and forth we go here. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Come on, man. Let's get that that right hand landed. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Good punch lands. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. What a tricky head kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Seconds left. Oh, collar tie. Good stick. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, nice overhand left. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion right, in the ready? making. Ready? Let's go, guys, fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big head kick lands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Beautiful body kick.
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked you have the Anderson Silva situation. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses with the left hook. Real sneaky body. And both guys really throwing with authority. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. Well, late in the fight, and clearly it's been a dominant performance for him, and he's had to lean on that cardio. It certainly has not abandoned him tonight. Cardio in the video game comes down to who's button mashing and who's actually playing the game. The guy that's actually <laughs> playing the game has better cardio. Look at that bar. Stop button pressing and learn how to play the game. Nice knee to the body by Lee. Under two minutes to go in the round. Able to check that kick as well. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice kick. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Under one minute remains in round four. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big strike right there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. 15 seconds remain in the round. Big leg kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight 
with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. A little single collar tie there. Good defense to block the strike coming back. It's such a fast leg kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice strike. My goodness! Big body kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Head kick. Big kick lands. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, there comes the high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Nice head kick. Big body kick land. Liver kick. Another massive body kick land. Nice punch land. It's a warning. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. There's the kick. It's blocked. Nice strike landed there by Lee. He's able to slip the left. Way to hide that leg kick. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Back and forth we go. Right hand by this young man. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice leg kick land. All right, single collar tie now. Head kick. Pretty good kicks there by Lee. 20 seconds left. Oh, a huge block there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. What a fight. 
All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!